Okay, today we're going to do ASCII control over the serial RS-232 port. Uh, so first we're going to connect the serial port. I've got a USB to serial adapter from B&B Electronics. 232 USB 9M. It was overnighted. It's good cost. Very reliable. That's the one we test here at Copley. Um, Got a large motor hooked up to a Zenus compact drive. Feedback, motor power, it's been tuned. It's disabled at the moment. I have the stow, safe torque off, jumpers installed. I got a 24 volt Meanwell supply and AC power connected to the drive. So we're gonna connect to the drive over the serial port. So normally when you get to this screen, you'll see a list of all the COM ports available on the PC. You pick the one that the serial port's connected to. Next. And then the baud rate, uh, let's not mess with 9600. Keep it at 115.200. And we can serially connect. It gets all the data from the drive. Um, we can look at the control panel. And from the control panel in a position mode, we can jog the motor. And um, from the scope, the CME2 scope, we can do profile moves. This is a 20-bit absolute single turn encoder. So it has 10, 4, 8. 576 counts per rev, 1 million counts per rev. So we're going to do a trap profile move using the trajectory limits. Let's go 1,000 RPM, 10 revs, and uh, see what that move looks like. That's 10 revs. So that's a normal move. So to use the serial port, we can test out serial port commands using CME2Tools ASCII command line. So we can get from RAM 0x24, that's the mode of operation. If I Set the T1 command, makes the 10 rev move. So let's look at the commands that we can do over the serial port from the ASCII programmer's guide. So the ones I'm interested in today are the position mode commands. And this describes the T1 command and parameters that are associated with the serial interface. So 0x24 is the position mode. If I set 0x24 to 0, oops, set RAM 0x24 to 0, I can see the drive is disabled in a disabled mode. And if I set it to 21 again, it's enabled in a position mode. C8 is the type of trajectory profile. So if we get RAM 0x C8. It's 256 relative move trap profile. So you could do S curve, you could do absolute moves, velocity profile, different modes. The position command. Yeah, that's the position I commanded it to. 10, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6. I want to set it. If I set the command for position, 
that's my destination that I'm going to go to. And then if I issue the T1 command, it makes single rev turns. So we can see that here in the video, single rev turns. Other parameters that we have here are the velocity parameters. And we can get from RAM 0xCB. And that's a very big number. That's in units of counts, 0.1 counts per second. And we have like a million counts per rev. So, so if I set RAM 0xCB, the velocity, to twice that value, I should go, instead of 1,000 RPM, like we see in the scope here, we should go 2,000 RPM. And set the destination position to 10 revs again. And now we can issue the T1, makes 10 revs. Reading the data, uh, almost hit 2,000. We're trajectory limited. We need to go further or accelerate faster. Uh, take a look at the acceleration limits. Get from RAM 0 X C C. Get from RAM. So we can enter that number 1048-5760. And if I add another zero to it, it'll accelerate 10 times faster. And this will be curious. Let's see if it can do that. Wow, that's extreme acceleration. But we hit the speed, and we use a lot of current, probably. Um, I'm just going to set that back. Set space RAM 0 X C C get 1048-5760. Two. And again, that's in units of 10 counts per second, per second, or counts per second squared. So let's set that back to normal, and then do a, do a T1. There. So uh, these are, and for jerk, for S-curve, these are the typical parameters for position mode commands. There's some examples here, uh, reading some event status register, is, has motion stopped, read the actual position, things that you might want to do over the serial port. So now what I'm going to do is try to connect using uh, hyperterminal. Yes, good old-fashioned hyperterminal. And, um, ah, so I need to set up the bitrate 9600 baud. Uh, we could, we are at 115.200 right now, but I'm going to try to connect at 9600 baud. Standard N81, that's how I like to start with my serial ports, make sure simple stuff works. Okay, and so that's the connection and the properties, uh, settings, as key. I like to see line feed, echo, and append line feed on the settings. Get from RAM. Oh, what did that, what did that say? Call. Ah. So let's pick one, configure it. Unable to open COM6 because COM6 is currently connected. Let's disconnect it. E. It's not recognizing my commands. Get from RAM 0x24. Value 21. Okay, so a break command will reset the baud rate to 9600 baud. If you go control alt break, you send the break command. 
I don't have a break key on my keyboard because it's a Dell laptop, but the old break command will cause the UART to hold the bits low, cause the drive to go to 9600. Now we're talking. 0x90 is the baud rate parameter. Um, just so you know, these parameters are all outlined in the parameter dictionary. 0x90, 0x90, serial baud rate in units, 9600 baud at reset. So we can send a serial command to change the baud rate, but not with hyperterminal because we'd have to talk to it at a different baud rate. But other softwares can do that. So if I send the T1 command, we can make the move. Uh, get from RAM 0x32. That's the actual position. T space 1, make the move again. Get from RAM 0x32. That's the new actual position. A million, 10, 10 million counts more. Um, Let's get uh, A0, which is the status. Get from RAM 0 x A0. It's value 0. Okay, so I made uh, a few changes here. I've set the destination position to a thousand times a million counts. Initiated the trajectory got the status register A0 and re received this value. So this is the value with these two bits set. Uh, if we take a look at the parameter dictionary for A0, uh, we can see these two bits, 27 and 28, are set. So in motion and just outside of the velocity tracking window. Uh, when the move is over, you'll know it because the value returned will not have bit 27 set. Um, other bits could be set. And, and if we want to disable the drive, again, mode 0. and enable the drive back into position mode. And that's a basic ASCII command. Thank you very much.